you and your dark black hair, your sultry voice, and your gassy stare. And your gassy smell. I'm not going there. If I had to list the five most horrifying moments of my life, number four was the moment Ricky and Richard bought ukuleles. Because I will see them, we will rent to each other's shows, and it will not go more than ten minutes without, by the way, we are at, no, we are at his your house, what, three weeks ago? Three, four weeks ago? Yes! And we were going over stuff for the show, and he leaves and goes back and goes, I found a whole guitar. It's a bigger ukulele with an extra couple strings. And that killed about an hour of my life. So, Ladies and gentlemen, here is not Melissa Vaughn. Uh, Roger, you brought your bagpipes, didn't you? I did. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Bumpus for the bagpipes. That's going to be a theme song now. Um, so, long and short of it is, you guys have a very exciting weekend ahead of you. We have a very exciting weekend of no sleep ahead of us. Luckily, one of the defining uh, uh, elements that made us pick this location, there were two things that made us finally pick this. Number one, we wanted to keep the set together, and the other two were Marriott's. So we picked another Marriott, because now we're all used to it. And number two, this one has Starbucks. <laughs> Who has not been to an Invader Con before? Who's still not at an Invader Con? <laughs> Who likes raising their hand? Who hates raising their hand? We hate that we made you feel awful. But, ladies and gentlemen. Our business is done. Who's. Okay, so. You're one o'clock? You're one o'clock? I'm what? What I'm Richard. Sure. He's Ricky. Never mind. He doesn't talk. The person who knows, remember the story about the girl that got married and went to England? Yeah. That's her! Uh, Everyone, that is Trace Wrangler. Say hi, Trace Wrangler. Hi! Hi! Yeah, oh, very oh, 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 that under the bus. Her husband is one of the opening managers in operations for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That's why he can't be here right now. Which means we all get in for free and ride for free, I'm sorry. Yeah! So now he's passed out in Diagon Alley. So find her and get her husband's name and go to Universal Studios and say, Hey, Caleb, I heard that I can skip all the lines if I ask for your name. So here you go. Oh yeah, let me go over this. So once we wrap up main events in a few minutes, uh, just so you want to know where you want to go next. Uh, Eric Trueheart. Say hi, Eric. Hi. Uh, Eric Trueheart will be... It's a musical city, folks. Sorry. Just wait till the dinner and breakfast when they do show tunes. Um, one o'clock, Eric Trueheart will have scripts that you can pick up from him, and he'll even put his name on it for you. Theoretically, they're like, I will sign other things. I think not parts of your body. Yes. I think you brought scripts from... Um, I think it was, you said, Breaking Bad, which you didn't write on. No, um, but I like it. It's a good show. Yeah, one of the shows, um, oh, the, the time title. Yeah. yeah, science, bitch. Um, <laughs> it'll be um, the time tunnel. He's got copies of the script. I have half a time tunnel script that now I'm from the internet, but I'll okay. one. He'll sign that for you. And, and I have a copy of, of oh, Star Trek Three, but in Esperanto. Okay, cool. <laughs> but he might have some invaders in script, so you'll have to find out if you swing by and see him at one o'clock. Then, Ricky will be hobbling. I didn't write top of the line. Who is and asleep I'm not in the front row? A little worm, maybe? <laughs> There's a little human worm, baby, that's awake. Oh, she's passing it out. I know, Ricky is very scary. No, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make a play.
way to let Tom uh, finish his announcements. This is what I'm going to request, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, I'm so tired. They're all looking at you. Quickly, <laughs> steal her soul! <laughs> so, one o'clock, Eric Truhart signing um, the scripts, theoretically, that he wrote or put a word on. Uh, Ricky Simons, uh, suicidal, uh, throw myself in front of a train man. You guys don't know what we're talking about if you follow him on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, Ricky and Tavisha's wife over there is filming me. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, went to, had to catch a train to San Diego Comic Con and the train and the train tracks and Ricky did not exactly get along. <laughs> Ricky fell on the train fell tracks. On. Because a leprechaun cursed him. He slept on it. There was a groove. Uh, fancy ladies in fancy party dresses. Tell us about the fancy they ladies. They were up the sidewalk. So I thought, I'll go around those party dress ladies. Too fancy for me. So I went around them, and I fell on the train tracks. Tell us about falling on the train tracks, Ricky. Really. this on himself because he texted me from San Diego last night going, I kind of hurt myself, can somebody get me a cane? So uh, our other GR staffer, Brett, who's hanging out there over there somewhere, he's like, I've got the perfect one. <laughs> and he brought a wizard stick cane. It's, it's literally a staff he fought off a bear with. Yes. <laughs> We're not kidding. So, yes, Ricky will be also in the other autographs room at the top of the hour signing autographs um, and uh, selling his soul. Uh, <laughs> And if you don't want to go harass one of those two, you can stay here and harass Roger. Oh, you can. Yes. Come on. Uh, he likes it. Roger will be our first Q&A. He'll spend 45 minutes in here answering questions you have. Um, just don't ask him about Squidward because under the contract we signed, we're not allowed to say anything. I'm kidding. I'm just making it up. Like, I can't ask him about SpongeBob? No. What is this SpongeBob? So yes, feel free. To, that'll be. Uh, that's why he's being quiet now because he's gonna have to talk for forty-five minutes solid, starting in fifteen minutes. Come right here. Huh? You're doing? I can't, I can't say that for the kids. Uh, you're doing nothing for him. We're throwing Richard in the pool. If you can fish him out, you win a prize. And by pool, he means toilet. Richard's gonna go to nap con for an hour. Go to nap con. Yes. Perfect. But we're going to let them head back out here as we wrap up opening ceremonies. We'll be able to see them all weekend long. Please give them a warm round of applause. So, wrapping up closing star opening ceremonies, you'll be able to see the guests all day. Uh, we left off when they showed up here, we talked about that we had finally got their on put together. Um, and it was exciting because they were going to be able to come out here. No, really, just go. Screw you guys. We will talk to you later. Oh my god, I'm all going after Trump. Oh, I can't see the blood. Which, oh, the other thing, if you have.